this is Stephanie welcome to designs by Stephanie for those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and for those of you returning welcome back if you have not been here before I would love to have you as part of the DBS family just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside it don't forget to click that all on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future today I'm going to show you guys in silhouette how I make a sticker packet. I actually drew out some flowers, so I wanted to do a flower sticker packet. I did it in Procreate. I won't show that part where I drew it, but I'm gonna show importing it into Silhouette, adding some additional items to it, using my template that I use for my actual sticker packet, and then just printing those out. So if you're interested in seeing how I make my sticker packs, then Stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, I have opened up my template and I have uh, Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Not sure if anything that I do will be only in this edition or not, but I just wanted to make everyone aware that that's the one that I'm doing. So I have a Etsy Planner sticker template that I use that's set up that I import all of my five by seven sticker sheets and I use two on an eight by ten page and this is how I set my registration marks so that I can pretty much utilize the bulk of the space on the actual sheet eight and a half by eleven so that it's not a lot of paper left that's being cut out as you can see here this is just the outline of what I have so it's pretty much just the border of it so it's not a lot and I stay within these lines here which are the print lines so I stay within those I have my cut line on that but the cut line doesn't matter the print line does matter as far as not being outside of that when you have things that you're pulling in so I set that up my length is 0.197 my thickness is 0 0.50 and my insert it, my inset is 0.394 and that is my settings there on my page set up and then I set my actual page up to eight and a half by 11 and then I used the cameo so I'm on the 12 by 12 mat so that is what I do I'd like to once I bring the template up I'd like to go ahead and save it as whatever name I'm going to save it as so that I don't overwrite my template and so I'll go ahead and save that and then I want to go in and file merge and bring in my document for my flowers so here they are and they're pretty big it's a big file so I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit so that it's on the screen so you guys can see it and I got everything turned sideways because my sticker sheets go that way so I got the mat turned sideways on the screen so I'm going to actually rotate this so that the objects are that way too rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise alright and then I drew five, five different plants and I may add some more embellishments and stuff to it but right now I'm just going to show you guys how I would do that and like I said I did it in Procreate so what I do is I want to trace it so that I can separate them into individual oops don't want to do that it's up too high I usually do this off to the side so let me go off to the side and do it over here I like to do it over here because I have that other stuff over there and I don't want to trace any of that or get that mess put on my mat in case it's some residual background garbage and I don't want it on my mat so again we go here to trace select the trace area area we highlight it in full effect and it's at 95 percent see all that garbage right there when you do it to 100 so we don't want that we want it right there i'm gonna leave it at about 82 percent 
and then I'm going to do trace and detach and hopefully that garbage doesn't get picked up sometimes it does but a lot of times it doesn't so you see that you see that a little bit of garbage there so what I do is I grab the flowers I move them I just love these flowers and then I highlight that and I delete it so there should be no garbage left none so then what I do is I bring everything back over here and I am not going to trace them because I do want them to be in a little bubble so I am going to use the offset tool instead of the trace so that they're offset so and see that and you can have it large where it has a large white background behind it or whatever paper color you're using or you can shrink it down right now it's at 0 0.125 I usually do about 50 but I think I want a little bit um, bigger offset to these so I'm probably going to stop right there at 90 that looks good to me let's see yeah let me go back up because I don't want it to cut too much like you see where right up under the leaves it's cutting in and I don't want it to do a lot of that so I'm going to leave it at 100 100 looks good so then I go ahead and apply that and then I just group it so one down then I just do the same thing with the rest of them select offset oh that is so cute and you can manually type 100 in there or you can just click the arrow button it's just whatever whatever floats your boat and I'm going to group that one and I always like to do this part first and group it that way if I want to put multiple on there in different sizes it's already got the cut lines in it so you don't have to waste your time going back through adjusting all of that then we apply and I think it put something behind it oh no it did not I thought it did but it didn't I thought I saw it add some extra so let's highlight this no I do have something in there I saw it something right there so garbage all right so with this one this one is a little small so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger I don't know why because those are all gonna get smaller too but um, offset click offset Make this one higher like the rest of them. Then apply. And then group. I don't like how that is though. Let me ungroup that. Ungroup. I don't like that. That cut right there. I don't like that. So we're going to take that out. Put that back in there and the easy way to make sure it's centered when you do that is go right here and then use this center button and it'll center both shapes together so that you don't have to manually keep maneuvering it and then I just group those together so have that and then last but not least this little cutie pie here so we're going to click on it click the offset again And click offset and take it down to 
100. And then let's group. So now we have everything done. Everything has its border around it, red cut line. That way we know it's not going to cut anything but that. And then it'll have the white background behind it from the sheet. So what I like to do is go in and place them on the sheet how I want them, resize them, what have you. Aren't they cute, y'all? And I may do them bigger and do a um, cut up. I never do those. I always just put them on here and do kiss cut. I don't know why, but that's always what I do. Make sure everything is in there. I'm, look, I'm not even saving room for the name. Let me bring that down a little bit because I do need to put my sheet name right there. And what I do is I keep a thing up here that says sticker sheet name. Oops. I don't know what I was cutting. And I add that. To say let's hold on. So we'll have that there. So the name is good. Alright, so we just have those little five. And then if I want to add some more little ones, I can go in and make small ones just add them throughout You can never have too many flowers. And this is more narrow, so I can squeeze. I thought I could, it, but I can't. So I squeeze it right there. It's just all about finding a good spot for your stuff. little beauty we gotta find the spot for these put one there and we got one more we gotta find a home for boom and she goes there with no problem whatsoever now that is a cute sticker sheet. What y'all think? Cute, cute, cute. 
and I made it touch. So now what I do is I just go through and make sure nothing is touching anywhere. None of the red lines are touching. You can blow it up and look at it. A lot of times that's what I do. I blow it up so that I can see things a little bit clearer to make sure nothing is touching anywhere. I just love this. Love, love, love this. I think it's going to be one of my favorites. I might do a draw with me of it. Maybe. This one here is my absolute favorite. <laughs> All right, got everything in. So after that, what I do is I go and I highlight everything. And make sure everything has a square around it. If it doesn't, add it. Square, 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 and then I group it, and then I move it to make sure everything is grouped, and it picked up everything, and then I use the back arrow to go back, and then I copy it, and I paste it over to the other side. And move that over. Let me close this and move that out the way. And then I go ahead and get it centered so it's not on the blue lines anywhere. You can copy and just have one in your template and then just make it and then copy the whole sheet over. Just personal preference. It really doesn't matter to me. Sometimes I do it that way delete the second box and then just copy the whole thing and move it over whatever doesn't really matter as long as you get what you need so that is pretty much it as far as getting the sticker sheet I was gonna put some embellishments in it but I decided just to add some little flowers so I don't think I need to add anything other than what I already have here so I'm going to hit send and you see everything is already set up. I don't see any additional items that look crazy. I'm going to take my red and pull it up to the top because that's my cut lines. And then my blue is my outline for my box. So I have that there. They're set on cardstock because all of my old designs don't save the thing so i have presets for this so i have for my kiss cut i have it saved here which is my blade is at two my force is at three my speed is at four that's my kiss cut and then for my blue is my sticker paper outline which i have that preset too is here my sticker paper and I have it on 2 30 and 5 so I am going to send it to the printer and then I will let you guys see it and I'll cut it out and that will be it so stay tuned okay I have made it to sheet Colors are vibrant, but that is it. Okay, guys, I have printed them out. See, this is my test paper. See the quality of that, as opposed to the quality of this. The colors are way more vibrant, way more vibrant, and you can see more detail in that. Like, see, I got yellow in that. And that looks like sand type of 
on the outside of that, but you don't see it as well over here. But they are absolutely my favorite sticky pack that I have made thus far. And I have them over here on my skinny. Don't they look cute? They're not too big. And then the small ones are even cute on there as well. So I just wanted to show them being utilized. Just adorable. Adorable. So they'll be added to my shop this week. So, yeah. Alright guys, that is it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box below. I will be sure to get back and answer them all. And yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>